Good day everyone, this is Teacher Cherry. In this video, we will learn about word problems involving radical equations. We will solve problems involving radicals. Let us have the problem 1. The square root of the sum of two consecutive positive add integers is equal to 6. Find the larger number. This is our solution. Let x be the smaller add integer and x plus 2 the larger add integer. So, kung 1 yung ating smaller add integer para makuha yung susunod na consecutive positive add integer, mag add tayo ng 2. 1 plus 2, 3. For example lang yun. Pero, hinahanap natin yung larger integer. From our problem, the square root of the sum of the two consecutive positive integers is equal to 6. Makakabuo tayo ng equation. That is, the square root of the sum of two consecutive positive integers. Yung smaller natin is x, Yung larger natin is x plus 2. pag din natin. That is equal to 6. Combine natin yung like terms. We have x plus x. That is equal to 2x plus 2. Square root of 2x plus 2 equal 6. And then, square natin both sides. We have the square of square root of 2x plus 2 equal 6 squared. Mawawala yung ating index at saka yung ating exponent since they are the same. Ang maiwan na lang ay 2x plus 2. Ang square ng 6 is 36. Then, solve for x. Transpose natin yung positive 2 sa right. So, magiging negative 2 na siya. 2x equals 36 minus 2. 36 minus 2, that is 34. And then, divide natin both sides by 2 para maiwan yung x. 2x divided by 2 equals 34 divided by 2. 2x divided by 2, makakansal yung 2, ang maiwan is x. 34 divided by 2 is 17. Our smaller add integer is 17. Para makuha yung larger add integer, gagamitin natin yung x plus 2. x plus 2, so ang x natin is 17 plus 2, that is equal to 19. This is the larger add integer. Let's check. This is our original equation. Substitute natin yung value ng x. 17 plus 17 plus 2. Yung 17, yun yung ating smaller integer. Yung 17 plus 2, that is 19, yun yung ating larger add integer. Square root of 17 plus 19, 17 plus 19 is 36, equal 6. Ang square root ng 36 is 6, equal siya sa 6. Therefore, Ang ating larger integer is 19. So, ang hinahanap lang sa problem natin is larger integer. Therefore, the larger integer is 19. Let's have another problem. A 26-foot ladder rests against a wall and its top reaches 24 feet above the ground. How far from the wall is the base of the ladder? This is our solution. So, let's have illustration of the problem. So, meron tayong ladder that is 26 foot. And then, yung kanyang top daw ay nagre-reach sa 24 feet above the ground. So, ang distance nito ay 24 feet. Ang tinatanong sa problem, how far from the wall is the base of the ladder? Gaano kalayo yung wall mula doon sa base ng ladder? Let's see be the 
the ladder. And then, yung 24 feet, ilalat B natin. Then, yung hinahanap ay A. Gagamitin natin ang Pythagorean Theorem. Ang Pythagorean Theorem ay ginagamit sa right triangles. The square of the hypotenuse of a right triangle is equal to the sum of the squares of the legs. Ang hypotenuse natin dito is C. So, yung square ng C ay equal sa sum ng mga squares ng legs natin. Ang legs natin ay yung B at saka yung A. Para masolve yung problem, isasubstitute natin yung mga given. Ang C natin is 26. So, we have 26 squared equals A squared. So, yun yung ating hinahanap plus ang B natin, 24. Kaya meron tayong 24 squared. Then, let's solve for A. Ang 26 squared is 676. 26 times 26 equals A squared. Ang 24 squared is equal to 576. Then, transpose natin yung 576 para maiwan yung A squared. 676 minus 576 equals A squared. 676 minus 576 is 100 equals A squared. Apply natin yung extracting square root. Extract natin both sides. So, we have square root of 100 equals square root of A squared. Ang square root ng A squared is A. So, makakancel yung index at saka yung ating exponent. Ang square root ng 100 is 10. Let's check. C squared equals A squared plus B squared, yung original nating equation. Ang value ng C natin is 26. Ang A natin is 10. Ang B natin is 24. 26 squared is 676. 10 squared is 100. 24 squared is 576. 100 plus 576 is equal to 676. So, yung 10 na satisfy niya at yung ating original equation. Therefore, ang A, which is the distance of the ladder to the wall, Therefore, the base of the ladder is 10 feet from the wall. Let's have example 3. Police use the formula S equals square root of 30 times D times F to estimate the speed of a car based on the length of the skid marks. In this formula, S represents the speed of the car in miles per hour. D, the length of the skid marks measured in feet. And F represents the coefficient of friction, which is constant depending on the condition of the road surface. Using 0.28 as a coefficient of friction, Determine how fast a car was traveling if it is skidded 210 feet. To answer our problem, let us first write the given. Yung D natin, yung length ng skid marks, ang measure is 210 feet. And yung F, yun yung ating coefficient of friction, that is 0.28. Isasubstitute natin sa ating formula, S equals square root of 30 DF. S equals square root of 30. Ang D natin is 210 at yung F natin is 0.28. Let's find the product. 30 times 210 times 0.28 is 1,764. Then, kunin natin yung square root niya, that is equal to 42. Therefore, the car was traveling 42 miles per hour. Yung miles per hour, yun yung ating measure, unit of measurement for the speed. 
Okay, that's the end of our tutorial. Before I end this video, I would like to say a simple quotation from Brian Herbert. The capacity to learn is a gift, the ability to learn is a skill, and the willingness to learn is a choice. Thank you so much. Keep safe and have a great day.